regardless of our situation, God is good. God is good all the time, and all the time, He is good. This statement is one that hardly misses from the services that we attend in our local assemblies. Yes, it is a customary statement, but that should not fool you into saying it as a cliché. You know, sometimes you may say something for so long that you get used to it in a way that makes it less beneficial. If the mere thought of the goodness of the Lord becomes regular to you, forget about the benefits of such proclamations. We serve a faithful God. The Bible records that our unfaithfulness will never make Him unfaithful. The problem is always us. We do not know how to receive every marvelous thing our Father has given unto us. Sometimes we say things that we do not mean or believe with all our hearts. This statement is true, especially when we are going through trials and temptations of life. We tend to take the above proclamation as a by the way, yet sometimes it is all we need to keep holding on and trusting in the Creator of the universe. We need to repent from such behaviors and ask God to give us a heart that is fully persuaded about His goodness. I love the consciousness that King David had, and he publicly put it out there for us to see, read, and be inspired. Here is his statement as we read from Psalm 23, verse 6. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The scripture above is a conviction from his heart. In turn, he promised to always dwell in the house of his Lord. True to his words, you can bear witness that God was good to King David. Did you know that he is the only king that did not lose any battle because the Lord was with him always? Goodness and mercy always followed him up to the end. What a beautiful life to live. You are not any different from King David. Your life is not less valuable because you are not a king ruling over people. No way. David did not have favor because of his kingship. He was special because of his heart towards the Lord. He had a heart that loved God and his precepts. That means that if your heart is right with God and is for him, you can be sure of his goodness and mercies and you can expect them every moment. Yes, there are times when you face situations that do not reflect what the scriptures say, and they force you to think that the greatness of the Lord has departed from you. I know that things can get so bad until you doubt the faithfulness that He shows. Even so, do not let any worrying circumstance because you think that He is good but not all the time. No, he is more than good continually. There is one thing that I tell myself when things get rough, and that is the fact that it could have been worse. When I do this, I take comfort in the fact that my Father has shielded me from facing situations and degrees that are beyond me. One thing is for sure. God will never let us face anything that is beyond our capacity to handle. That is how He stretches and develops our faith in Him. You know, you cannot stay in the lower stages in your faith. The more you face daunting situations and God gets you out of them because you have faith in Him, the more your trust grows and you become more confident in God, His love, and His faithfulness towards you. So, you see, challenging situations are not there to disapprove the goodness of our Master but rather to prove it. Do you recall the story of Samson, the man with the supernatural strength that was a great terror to the Philistines? Well, Samson was set apart for the glory of God while he was very young. The instruction that the Creator gave his parents while he was young was that no razor should be used on his hair. He was supposed to grow with his hair and never to trim it. His supernatural strength was in his massive hair. The Philistines sought ways to finish him, and ultimately they knew the secret to his power through a woman he fell in love with called Delilah. His hair was cut, and he became a prisoner. His situation as a prisoner was so bad, and no one was to blame except him for breaking all of the rules that God wanted him to obey as a Nazarite and judge over Israel. 
Even so, in that horrible state, there is one thing that he asked from God. Samson asked God to grant him his strength back for his last mission. God was faithful to him and granted his desire. When his might was back, he destroyed the temple of the god Dagon that was full of his enemies. The story of Samson reminds me that no matter how many bad decisions I make or how short I fall from his expectations of me, he can never shut his ears against me. The same is true with you. All that matters is that when you call upon the Lord and declare his goodness, he will never shut his ears against you. He always remains faithful and righteous throughout every situation, and he waits for you to call on him and upon his goodness, and he will show you that his goodness toward you never ran dry. In every situation, remember that God remains to be God. You know that he is God, whether you are on the mountain or in the valley. What you are facing or have faced should never be a measure of who the Lord is to you or what he can do for you. It should be a measure of how amazing he is because you are sure that he is the good shepherd that will guide you to greener pastures or cause springs of water to burst forth even in the desert. He will never hesitate to show you how much you mean to him. All you have to do is believe this truth. Here is what King David also said about the goodness of our Almighty Father in Psalm 34, verse 8. He said, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. This scripture is an instruction. David instructed us to taste how good the Lord is towards all his creation. The last part says that anyone that trusts him is blessed. Let me tell you one thing. No one can do the tasting for you. You can do it for yourself. If other people do the tasting and come back with testimonies, the best they will do is inspire you to go ahead and taste for yourself. That is the only way you will be persuaded of their testimonies. That is the same way we treat spiritual things. You have to experience them for yourself. Now to encounter them, you have to trust in God. The scripture reminds me of something so beautiful in Nahum 1 verse 7 that says, The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows them that trust in him. When you describe something as a stronghold, it means that it has been designed to restrict any attack from getting through it or damaging it. It means that no attack from the enemy can penetrate it because it has been fortified against the attacks. The scripture above says that the Lord is the one that will make sure you remain standing spiritually and in faith after the day or days of trouble are gone. If this is not pure awesomeness, I do not know anything else. The only thing that sustains and leaves you standing on your own two feet after facing a devastating situation is the goodness of God. It is this goodness that ensures you enjoy His grace, strength, love, comfort, boldness and peace in bad times. The scripture in Nahum further goes ahead and says that the king of glory knows all of them that trust in him. I am sure you know that nothing is hidden before the eyes of God, not even your heart. The Holy Spirit searches out every matter in our hearts and lays it bare before the Father. While searching our hearts, he either finds faith or doubt in there. When he finds faith, you will be blessed to partake of everything he has to sustain and carry you through difficulties. When he finds doubt, he becomes limited in terms of what he can do for you. And that is how we lose battles. We limit the works of the Holy Spirit with unbelief. God is good all the time, and there is no doubt about it regardless of what we see or face. This truth will never change, and especially if it concerns you. Believe this, and you will see his mighty hand take charge over every threatening situation that seems overwhelming. You are too precious to God for him to play around with your faith in him. Anyone that puts their trust in God will never be put to shame. As you keep your focus and trust in him, you will see the truth in his word in Psalm 33 verse 5 that says, He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. I know that this is true, so there is no need for you to miss out on this because of unbelief or fear because of a terrible circumstance. Square up your shoulders, put your chest and your chin out, 
and then face every situation with boldness, knowing that the one that created you will never withhold his hand against you. If you do not believe this, you will lose heart within a twinkling of an eye. As you journey through life, you will see much more than you already have. Remember, the devil is not seated somewhere enjoying a vacation. He is working against the children of God and trying to frustrate them constantly. Therefore, walk around with the confidence of David and Father will follow you all the days of your life. Confess this to yourself until it is the only thing you are sure of of all the days of your life, regardless of your situation.